Hello everyone and welcome back to Snapshot Survival, my name is McBeachPies and today we are on Snapshot 16W21A which is the second snapshot for 1.10 and there hasn't been too many features added um, since last snapshot, just a few little bug fixes here and there but there are a few little things that we'll maybe, maybe not have a look at uh, but what we do need to do in this episode is go and look for some polar bears and some husks or strays, we'll end up finding strays. If we're looking for polar bears, we might find some strays. But yeah, that's what we didn't get up to last episode because we ran out of time. We looked at all the new blocks and all that, uh, but we didn't get a chance to look at the new mobs. So we're gonna go find those today. I'm gonna do a bit of exploring and hopefully we can find some soon. So the way, I've just like a little tunnel by the way, um, the way that I'm going to generate new terrain is in the nether of course, as you can probably tell, uh, using nether portal, just going to go to a random place and build a portal. And as you can see, there is currently a bug in the snapshot where lava renders this deep red blood color. I don't know why. Uh, it's a bug, definitely. It's not intended or anything. The texture is still exactly the same. You can kind of see it in the background of that but yeah it's really deep red I'm not sure what's causing that I mean I know nothing about um, how Minecraft is coded or anything but yeah so that's an interesting new feature or bug I should say um, but yeah let's just run over as far as we can and we get really far away this should take us straight out of our house kind of like oh, wow okay I'm just gonna ooh, we are very high up uh, I'm just gonna build the portal here I think I've come reasonably far so I guess we'll find out here. It's built. I'm going to take torches out of my hand because that's the most annoying thing. Doop. Out. One, two, three. Dump. Dump. And let's light this up. Jump through and hope we don't die. Here we go. Where are we going to be? Please be a snowy biome. This is not a snowy biome. Hmm, I need a snowy biome. I need an ice plains or a... Or a cold tiger. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to go... Okay. Thank you, Elytra, for being annoying. I guess I'm just gonna have to go back through and... Travel further. Wherever my portal has gone. Oh boy. Oh my god, this spawned right in front of me. Wow, nice shot. Okay, where are we? Where, where actually are we? Oh, very far away now. Oop, that was a risky move. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, we may get severely lost right now, but I'm going to do it anyway. How far can we go right now? Oh, boy. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have some trouble getting back, I can tell you that now. Let's go up here. And then down here. Oh gosh. Oh. Can we get through here? Oh, no. Oh well, let's make the portal here. <laughs> Hopefully this will actually let us, like, explore something. Holy moly! Oh, well, it's spreading. No, no, that's that's not... Okay, maybe I'm not going to build a portal there. Let's build it over here. Actually, does this go through? Oh, it does. Uh, well, it comes out somewhere. Oh, actually, hang on. Ooh, that's magma. Alright, let's just make it here. Digging, digging, digging. Alright. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. I am running extreme hills. That's not right. I'm gonna just dig out now, because, uh. Wow, I am at Y level 100, and. Didn't. I just. Yeah. I did dig straight across. Wow, I came out right underneath a giant mountain. Let's get right at the top here and have a look around. No cold biomes in sight. Wow, I was right in a cold biome in the mountain there. This is some beautiful terrain though. Absolutely amazing. 
However, it's not the terrain we need. We need an ice plains or a cold tiger because polar bears and strays do not spawn in extreme hills. Which is unfortunate and really annoying considering I have a lot of access to extreme hills. Um, but no. So back down to the portal and I'm going to try travel. Uh, what way is it? East. As far as I can go. Wow. Just wow. <sighs> Back we go. God damn it. Roofed forest. We're in a... In a roof forest. Nope. Tiger. <sighs> so I just decided to dig straight up because I remembered that we have this, a compass, which I'm just going to use to, which way are we going, walk back to spawn. From wherever on earth we are, uh, 1,000, 10,000, and I'm just going to walk back. Hopefully, wait, wait, 10,000. Oh boy. I may regret this. Hopefully we can find some polar bears. <laughs> oh, oh, but we, we, we found a desert. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't talk there. Yes, a desert. And a desert temple. And that's, I don't know. Maybe we'll find a not chapel. Um, so what we can do is we can find a husk at night time. Which we have to wait for night time. But <laughs> we can find a husk. Oh, fantastic. So, uh, well, I'll talk about husk more when we actually find it. But first, let's go... Check out this desert temple here. All right, what do we got here? Some iron. More saddles. Do we need them? I don't know, I'll probably end up throwing them away. A golden apple, just a normal apple. I'm actually going to throw those saddles away. More gold. This gold horse, don't need it. Some emeralds and two more. Wow, two apples. So, nothing. This was a disappointment. Right, so the sun is now setting, meaning any time now we are going to see some husks spawn. So, they're basically just zombies, um, but they only spawn in deserts, they don't burn in daylight, they have like a cool little texture, it looks like they're wearing like worn down rags and stuff. And when they attack you, you get hunger, which I think is really awesome. So they do hunger, like give you the hunger effect, plus the normal like damage. And also this sand here is floating, meaning if we get, there we are. I love that. So they made it, if there's floating sand or gravel or anvils I think. Uh, it makes these cool little dust particles underneath, which is pretty awesome. So I'm just going to wait around for a husk to spawn, and as soon as one does, I'll start recording. There's some. Two have just spawned right here. Oh, cool. Okay, right, let's try not to get blown up by anything else for the meantime. I'm going to take my shield away so you can see properly. Oh, fantastic. Right. Okay. Oh, there God, there's four of them. And a baby husk! A baby husk! <laughs> oh my gosh. Can they like pathfind here? Uh, oh my god, I think it can. Not quite. Oh my gosh. Let's say, let's say that. Uh, I don't think they can. No, but they'll probably end up pathfinding around here. Oh my god, there's heaps of them. They're everywhere now. I was having so much trouble finding them, and now look, they're here everywhere. So I need to kill this baby one. Oh my gosh, see, they gave me hunger. Oh, I want to kill the baby one. I can't hit it, there we are. Okay, now there's a lot of mobs. Okay, baby one is dead, that's good. That means we can kind of focus a bit more now. Oh, that hunger is annoying. Okay. Oh, really, skeletons? Wow, this is annoying. Why do they have to be like other mobs? I'm going to put the shield on. Out for that exact reason. This has turned into chaos, complete another chaos. I hate other mobs. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm going to wait for daytime, and then hopefully everything else should die, and we can have some husks. Alright, so it's daytime now, the sun's just come up, and I can't see any more husks but this one, so let's try to get a screenshot of him. 
Fantastic. Now let's run away. <laughs> so let's just show off one more time. See, when it hits me, it does hunger. So it does the normal damage as a zombie. As you can see, they're clearly not burning in daylight. Um, I think that was the only one that's still around. Either the other ones died. I saw a skeleton kill one. Um, well, they despawned, but I, I think we can eliminate this one now. <laughs> Goodbye, husk. Husky business. <laughs> Right, so I'm now going to continue on my quest to find polar bears. I'm happy we found a husk. I'm pretty uh, pleased that we finally got at least one of the new mobs. So I'm going to continue on this way, head back to spawn, or as far as I can. We have something like 10,000 blocks. Oh boy. That was interesting. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to head back. Uh, I'm glad we got to see a husk, but now I just need to find polar bears and strays. So... This is going to be an interesting trip. I just realized that I completely forgot about a new thing added. Uh, the tiger villages. So they made it so that villagers could now spawn in tiger biomes. Which I think is awesome because I actually found a um, tiger village generated in 1.9. Um, must have been some type of error I guess or mistake. But I don't know how it generated. Anyway, um, so I love the way they look and I'd love to see one. But it looks like we've just come out of the tiger. Hey, no, we're going back into it. So... Maybe we'll come across one there. <gasps> we can get horses! And I have like three golden apples! Yes! Okay, you've got hardly any health. Does that mean you're really fast? And you've got heaps of health. Let's try this one because I would prefer a really fast horse. Oh wow, that's like a real good thing. <laughs> come on. Oh really, that's just rude. If we feed it a golden apple, it should like... Nom nom nom. It should like us more. I just noticed another horse there. Oh, there's a whole different type of them. Hey, there we go. Let's see how quick... Oh, you're skipping a lot. Is that slow or fast? I can't tell. Uh, wait, what? Okay, it's not wearing the armor. I'm going to try tame a different horse, and hopefully we can get a really fast one. I don't know if this is faster or not. I'm just going to go with it, because it's... That's pretty good. Damn, there's heaps of horses here. Yeah, I like this horse. Let's give it some armor. There we are. Fantastic. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to keep heading on back just as I was before. Hopefully I'll come across a tiger village. If I do, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But yeah. Onwards. Oh. There's the jungle. So I guess we've just come back to where we were before when we came through the uh, portal at the jungle. Uh, I actually am going to go kill those sheep because I'm going to make a bed. Um, I've got enough food because I killed heaps of pigs. So I'm going to grab those sheep. Oh, here's a new feature. You can uh, not shift clip on horses, but you can ender pearl off of like boats and horses and stuff. So that's pretty awesome. So I'm going to sleep off the night. Didn't find a tiger village, which I'm kind of sad about because I really wanted to find one. Um, but oh well. It looks like we're going to have to say goodbye to our horse. Goodbye, horse. Thank you for giving us quite a significant boost. Uh, boost. <laughs> have some, um, have some melon. I hear horses like melon. Anyway, from now on, we are on boat, so this might speed up process a bit, but it just depends if we can actually find a cold biome. Which I'd really like to find in this episode, as we didn't find it last episode, and polar bears are probably one of the biggest things added to the game, so let's cross our fingers and really hope that we find one. Alright, it looks like we're coming into forest now. Or maybe it's just an island. It looks like it might be just an island. Um, yeah, just an island. Never mind, false alarm. Alright, so it looks like land is going to be swamp. Um, I don't know if that'll lead into a cold biome, but it's better than a desert. Oh, and it leads straight back into out into ocean, so... Yeah, maybe we will come into a cold biome. <gasps> there is one! There's a tiger village! Or it might be a plains, I can't tell yet, but it's a, it's a village! It's a tiger- no, it's a- it's a- wait, no, plains. It's a plains village. Oh, I got pretty excited there. Oh, this is a really nice village. I love how they did that with the paths there, in the path block. Oh, it's like just on the brim there. Oh, well, we still have to go through that, so maybe we'll come across another one. For now, I'm going to camp the night here, so I grab our bed. Um, I don't know why, the, I think they really need to, like, I don't know, do something about that. But what have we got here? Nothing of value whatsoever, but we are going to just camp the night here, so... Yeah. 
Hang on. Something's missing here. What? There is not a single villager here. It's abandoned. Something has gone wrong here. Look, there's no light uh, torches on the lamps there. There's not a single villager here. Hang on, I'll go explore up here a bit more. And there aren't any doors either. This village is severely messed up. Oh boy. Mind you, I have seen worse, so... Oh, R.I.P. Villagers. Wait, is it? No, it's not a second blacksmith. Oh, sad. I wanted to see some of my brothers and sisters. Well, they don't have genders, so siblings. Because, yeah, oh, I can't take my armor off. Ah, oh, that's kind of sad. There's no one home. Let's just continue on through here and maybe we'll find a tiger village now. Because that'd be pretty awesome. Wow, another village already. I'm pretty sure, oh, you can't quite see it, but... Wow, straight away. I wonder if there'd be any villages in here. There are torches, and I thought I saw a door, but... Yep, there's a door. Yep, there are villages. Okay. So I don't know what happened to that village. Maybe they all moved here. Weird. Um, hello. I wonder if you have mending. Fire speak too. Uh, no, I'm gonna take another look in the blacksmith. You never know what you might find. I only have seven diamonds, which is pretty, pretty, pretty sad. But, uh, how do we actually get into the blacksmith? The answer is you don't. <laughs> I guess we're, we're breaking in. Ow. I'll dig in here. Hello, villager. I have saved you. You are free. You're gonna give me nothing. We have two emeralds, remember? Ooh, I will take that obsidian, though, and the bread. Fantastic. Right. I'm gonna just keep going, I guess. Keep going until we get back to spawn. Or find a... Um, polar bear. All I want is a polar bear. <laughs> I think we might be getting really... I think this is new uh, old train. I'm recognizing this witch hut here. And I have a bad feeling that we're going to be home any second now. As, yeah, we're in a roof forest. Roof forest and swamp is what I remember being close to. Um, home, so... It's a bit disappointing. Hopefully we are actually still going to be like millions of blocks away, but we're obviously not. And I know that home base is like 2000 on the Z axis or something. So we must be nearly home, which is unfortunate. But I think what I'll try to do is... I don't know, actually. What will I do? Is that... Lava or home base? I think it's lava, which actually makes me think that we are near home base because... I don't know, I'm just thinking of excuses now. This looks convenient. Ish. <laughs> there we are. So, I think we are directly... There we are. I knew it. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah. Uh... We didn't find a polar bear. All I wanted was a polar bear. Ah, uh, boy. Well, that was a shame. Look, there's the importer right there. Well, it looks like we're going to have to find it next episode, guys. Um, yeah. I quickly wanted to actually just go back home because there is a little thing I want to show you guys that I think is really kind of funny. But unnecessary, so let's just kind of... Swing around here. I should make an elytra launcher. I'll do that. Let's make an elytra launcher one day. Um, but I don't have near enough slime. Slime for it. Anyway, uh, quick little thing before we end the episode is gonna be... This. <laughs> this is really, like, kind of funny. Apparently it was a bug that this didn't happen before. But I think it's great. So if we throw down, say, pork chop here... Oh gosh, thank you everyone for watching. <laughs> I'll see you next time. <laughs>